but there's a lot of bureaucracy in medicine. There's a lot of hoops to jump through to get new medicines passed, new, you know, the American Cardiology Association has to adopt, you know, an ideal thing after five years of research and the committee meets 25 times, right? Then they finally say, okay, here's our new standard. It just takes time. And if you have future thinkers like yourself who are on top of the latest research, everyone else is going to lag behind. You know, the good news is, hey, wait, this is actually really good news. I think this is actually awesome, is you are less bound than a, a medical physician is because my practice has to reflect what's accepted in the medical community or I can get into trouble, which is frustrating. I mean, imagine how frustrating that is. You know, I have to tell people what the guidelines of the FDA and the DEA and the American Psychiatric Association and the American Family Medicine Association deem appropriate after the research has been reviewed, which again, super old, and I'm bound to that. And if I say, hey, I just read this awesome article about this newfangled thing, and I tell a patient that, you know, I don't know, is that ethical practice? Now, the good news is, is that you're on top of this stuff and you can make change now, right? And again, I'm not complaining. I love medicine. It's an amazing field, but there, there are a lot of limitations. You know, there are a lot of limitations and we do have to wait for the data and the valid, accepted, peer-reviewed research before it becomes a dogma, before it becomes uh, something that we can use in practice.